Hey everybody, this is Charity Unicorn and I need to tell you that this episode of my podcast is a must watch, a must listen. And because it's already been live on my podcast for a week, I wanted to make sure that my entire YouTube audience had the chance to hear the story because the story is that powerful. I get goosebumps in certain parts of the story every time I hear it. And I think it is such a powerful story of transformation of someone who took a chance on this lifestyle as a overweight, maybe insecure, you know, maybe feeling stuck person and see them thrive on the other side of one or two experiences. Like I've never seen a transformation before. And anybody who's curious, especially as a single person of breaking through to this lifestyle, you need to hear this story. And I mean that this story is the story you need to hear if you need one more thing in your you know, backpack of courage to make the leap. And that is why I've introduced the entire version on my YouTube. Hey, everybody, it's Tarana Unicorn here with a very special guest on this episode of Sex and Swinging with Tarana Unicorn. I'm going to introduce you to Arnold Lane. Would you like to say hello? Hello, everyone. Hello, YouTube and everyone else. So he is a little like shocked to be suddenly being interviewed. So uh, I think it's an interesting dynamic because he didn't necessarily think he had a story. And I don't believe he has the story. So I am here to help the story of transformation. And I want to make basically kind of stop time for a second, take a flashlight, look before, look at what happened, looked after. And I want to tell you, the viewer, what happened to him over the last only fucking 12 days, was it? Is it sincerely only February 12? 1st. February 1st. It hasn't been, uh, yeah. Whatever. What are we, what day are we? 18 days yeah. I've been into this world and my life has changed. <laughs> right? And this, like, this interview is like a week after I wanted it, right? Like, so your life changed in a week, less than a week. Um, I, I and mean, so, yeah, I, I, these things happened to me last, something happened to me last night and, my, and some, something else new popped up. That's so fantastic. Um, okay, so we're going to get started now. First of all, I'll be very clear. I did not know you personally uh, before recently, but you were a subscriber to my fan page for like six months, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I very, very much fucking appreciate that, which I think goes in, into the story of, you know, you invested in me back in the day, and when I had an opportunity when I met you, I was like, this is a little bit of an opportunity to invest back. And I think... I want to see how it helped, right? So let's talk about that because you're special to me. Go ahead. There was some narcissy uh, thing on Oasis. So I kind of knew about Oasis for some time, but I didn't think it, it was uh, a place for for a single guy, an uh, overweight guy. Uh, you know, so I didn't think single males were, were welcome there. Anyway, there was some narcissy uh, thing about Oasis. And somebody put a, a link to your tour of... Uh, of Oasis Aqua Lounge in the comments, and then uh, that's how I found you, Aww. and um, and then yeah, so then I, I, then I'm watching your videos and I'm I was getting turned on by this stuff. It was it was pretty hot. I'll tell you the truth. The real reason I joined your fan page is to see our unblurred. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna love that so. Much. <laughs> I, I I wanted to see what our looked like unblurred. And then I just I started getting into the fan page too. Now I never joined OnlyFans either before that. I, I've I've got one other subscription that I do with that, but it was it was it was only you. You're the first person that I ever uh, subscribed to. Which is really interesting because I've actually popped a lot of people's OnlyFans cherries. They tell me that, and I'm surprised because, like, I wonder like what was it because. I would never pay for content before. Never. I was like, fuck that shit. Porn's free. Whatever. Yeah, fuck y'all. Everywhere. Right? But it was when I realized that just like, you know, Kylie Jenner can have people who want to see more of her personal life, so can anyone else who has captured the attention of someone. And so if someone wants to see a little bit more of me, why not have a place to do that, even if I'm not, you know, necessarily putting shit in my ass for money? Like, I'm not, I love women and, and, and the creators who do that. But that's not my page. My page is, you you know, it's a lot more of like naked diaries and like, you know, things yeah, like yeah, yeah. extra pillow talks, extra stories, a lot of photos I post on there every day, multiple times a day. You can attest, right? You're a fan. Can you actually Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just want to support you because I, I do find your YouTube content uh, I, I, worth its weight in gold, really. Um, so... I, so I supported you a little bit just because because of that. It's just you 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 you're, you're adding something to the to to my world, just my voyeuristic world before I even got into it. 
and you gave me confidence. Like you were you on your YouTube, you're telling you're being single, go to the club and blah 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 blah. And you know, so I was starting to get my courage up, but I still was self conscious about my weight. I remember, and I um, what's really interesting is the story that we have to have to share is that we had a an interaction, and uh, he basically experienced the club and lifestyle recently for the first time, and we're going to tell you about that. But basically, he's been a subscriber to my fan page. We've probably chatted intermittently, but I didn't know him uh, personally, and uh, and all of that. So he has seen my you know you know naked parts, but like that's that's just how it goes, you know. That's the benefits of subscription. Yeah. So. You've already seen me, you know, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and, 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 and in the club, you wear a bikini bottom. Mm hmm I do. I'm very conservative about, about showing off. I, that. Although, I, I saw you change in the change room, but I missed out on the, the, the live goods. But that's. I still don't have hair, though. I know you like pubic hair, I but love, I don't I have love, any. Yeah, I love pubic hair. I don't even oh, grow any. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I still, like, I still like a vagina without pubic hair. I'm oh. used to it, but I just prefer it. Just, oh, yeah, it's good, good stuff. It's interesting. I like knowing when, when men are interested in a certain thing, but it, it's helpful when it aligns um, for me. But right now I'm with a guy who her kinkiness aligns in the, in the right way, which is cool. Yeah, but that's yeah. why these clubs are great, is that you will find alignment. You oh, will find yeah. it, right? I've so, found lots of girls with pubic hair who, who actually like it when I when I comment and uh, and worship it a bit. I, I've, I've, I've found that. It's, it's, it's kind of hot. Last night on uh, the Bukaki night, Valentine's Day, there was a girl in the pool, and uh, and I was trying to get her towel off the whole night. She she was there was a couple, but I was trying to watch her, and then she went to a private room, and I don't think I don't even know if we're allowed in the private rooms uh, as solo guys, so I didn't didn't go there to, to to see. But she got invited to a private room, and then I and then I then later on in the pool, I'm in the pool, and I said, "Damn it, I uh, I missed out and all that." And then she took out her her thing out to show me, <laughs> and she was, "Was it worth the look?" And, I, and she had pubic hair, and I go, "Are you kidding me? You got pubes? Yes, that's beautiful." Anyway, yeah, yeah she got she let me uh, look at it a couple times there. It was it was kind of it's fun. Lovely, it's lovely. I've got to say, yeah. if I was somebody, because I, I, you know, everyone rocks different looks, and some people might even have been self conscious of pubic hair, and so to get like worship for it would be a lovely feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've known. Yeah, some of these girls are, are into it. Yeah, yeah. So I want to go back to before February first, because you said that was the day, right? Yeah, that was my first time at Oasis. Okay, so before February 1st, you were a subscriber on my fan page. Had you ever been to a sex club before? No. Had you ever had kinky swinger sex before? No. Had you ever? When's the last time you had sex before? December. Okay, so not that long ago. Yeah. You said that you were self-conscious about your weight, right? Was that, was that was the reason you were hold, you were being held back? So you were aware of these clubs for the last six months because yeah. I'm talking about them. So why the fuck were you not at the club six months ago? It is because of my weight. Now I used to do some neuter, nudism as well, so I've kind of experienced nudism, and uh, but even that, then I stopped going. Even though I know that people in the in the naturist world, they're they're not judgmental as well. But I just felt like I've just put on so much weight, and I've just I don't know. I just in my head, I'm just saying to myself, uh, I I don't look good, and I shouldn't go, and blah 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 blah. Um, so it just I just didn't in knowing about this club six months ago I just didn't feel it was my place but I was watching your videos you're the one who who started making me feel like I could go and you know and then I, I was uh, live chatting with you on YouTube and that's when um, you were telling me that there's lots of people my size there and then when I got there there was and, and nobody's judging and it's it was great I had my shirt and my my underwear on for for part of that day and then then I took off my underwear and kept my shirt on, but then that came off. Damn it! Now, then now, now I walk around naked. I don't care. Damn I love God. it. I love walking around naked. And do you feel free? Feel free? Yeah, yeah. It's 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 an incredible feeling. It's so funny how fast it happens too. Because like we work so 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 hard for it, and then we're like bam, and then suddenly it's just like we're all okay. And it's yeah. fascinating because that's why I want to do these videos is because I want to help bottle this magic, this sparkle of someone who found the exit to being stuck, right, in something. Yeah, yeah. And I and want even to the help second time out. I went to Oasis, I wore a shirt and no, no nothing on the the bottoms or just a towel or whatever. And and yeah. and then now I just now it's I'm, I'm completely off because I'm going to be jumping in that pool, jumping in that that sauna, jump in and the shirt's just in my way now. 
Exactly, right? And no one cares. No one gives a single shit. And nobody cares. Nobody cares. Than someone else or or, 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 or smaller dicked or bigger dicked. Or, I mean, some people do because they're size queens. But, like, for the most part, the environment specifically just doesn't judge the way that you they no. did in the high school gym. You no. know? Like, um, no. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. okay, so you got pushed. So you were watching me on YouTube. And I remember telling R in advance... Or I think it was on my, my fan page. I don't know. Anyways, I remember saying that I might let it slip that I'm going to be going to the club. Like, so I was live streaming before the hot wife night or something. And so I was in my hot wife t-shirt. Like it was clear. It was hot wife theme night. Like I was yeah. going to the club yeah. and I remember you were really active in the comments or whatever. And then you had said like, well, you know, maybe I should try it. And you had never tried a sex club before. Yeah. And you knew I was going to be there. And is that the reason that you said, okay, I'm going to try Definitely, it. definitely, yeah. Yeah, because I was chatting with you and R, and I was kind of having some fun with the two of you. And you guys were telling some stories, you know, and, uh, yeah, so yeah, it, it, it was kind of fun to just to, to listen in on it. And, and, yeah, so I was having fun with you guys talking. So then I was like, okay, now i got to go meet them in person to, uh, to, to, to go on those conversations. Because so I was typing just... the conversations. You guys were speaking. I was typing. And I couldn't get yeah. everything I wanted to say out uh, either. So it wasn't just that you knew that I was going, but you also had a rapport with me. And so you felt a sense of invited in the sense yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's the perfect, uh, gotcha. perfect uh, words. Yeah. That's great feedback. Because I recently announced on the Valentine's Day that I was going in advance. And I took a, I took a risk with that. Um, and, uh, I did meet some viewers, but I still to this day don't know if any took a chance because of that video. So I like to know when yeah. I have impact and when, and when people are touched. So that's, yeah. that's nice feedback. So yeah. So I remember you, you know, you were like, well, I'm overweight. And I remember like looking in the camera being like, so look at me. I'm like, you know, everybody doesn't care. We're all in there. Just have a good time. And so in a way I felt that you were getting convinced almost like layer by layer of your shield yeah, was coming yeah, down. Yeah. yeah, I was, I was, I was. And then I, I show up there with R, and I said, so I think he might come. If he does, let me know if you see him, right? Um, we didn't know. And then sure enough, so R saw you first. And I don't know how she knew it was you, but, you know, maybe. I, I saw her. I was going for a tour. They are giving us a tour. And mm -hmm. then I saw her walking by in her towel. And, and, I, and I said, R? And then, and then she said my name, my real what name. What was that like for you? That was, It was fun. It was fun because I kind of, what's weird about this whole thing is, I I know you like I kind of feel like I know you. Your personality is on YouTube. You got you have no idea who I am, but I'm I'm hearing all your stories. I'm seeing your personality, and uh, uh, you know, so I feel like I've got this connection with you, even though you don't have that with me. It, it, so it, it, it's weird. It's it, and it's kind of cool. And then you know, there's a you you did a YouTube video right afterwards, and uh, or maybe a couple of days later it came out. But I was there, and 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 it was it's different when uh, you know I knew what was going on then. Am I the same person in real life as I am on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you shine a little bit more on YouTube. You do well in front of the camera. You got that extra glow in oh. front of that camera. Are you saying I'm lacking something in person? No, no, no. I'm not saying that you're lacking in person. I'm just saying you've got this 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 camera. This camera likes you. The the, the YouTube really likes you. So Thank you, you. you it, it, it's your element. Is what I'm trying to say. That behind that camera is your element. Well, that's it, right. and, and it shows, you know, uh, on on film, I guess, or on, on YouTube or whatever platform. I can see it. You know what you need? You need to start getting a desk, a podcast with a desk and mm -hmm. special guests and you have, you know, like, uh, oh, what's that guy he has his little podcast and, you know, headphones and people are all chit chatting in, uh, yeah. uh, on a desk, uh, that kind of thing. That's what you need. Like sports I talk, but, but sex talk. I've actually decided to get the ladies together for some maybe once a month girl talk as a video chat and we'll record it. And it's like, for the, for example, the first topic I want to talk about is what we actually think about anal sex. And we're all going to go one by one and tell our very different. I, I want to hear that. Right. And then we'll do another topic the next time. So I'm actually going to start doing this soon. So it's nice that you said that because so uh, we have so many good opportunities to include multiple people's voices from this lifestyle, especially the people who I personally know, um, I've, you know, that I've interacted with. They all have contributed to the puzzle piece, you know, the full yeah. picture of this lifestyle. And yeah, so they yeah, all have yeah. something to contribute. So, okay. So you basically get in your car. How long of a drive is it? Uh, probably 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I mean, uh, yeah, about 25 minutes. 
All right. So it was 25 minutes, but it was way too far before before this this day, before February. Yeah, 1st. yeah, yeah. Get in. Okay. Yeah. Now Club M4 is very close to where I am, and uh, mm. and I've okay. checked that out a little bit more just to see who goes in and out, and yeah. It might be a good fit for you in certain moods, right? So, um, yeah. okay. So then that day comes, February comes. You show up. You run into R. You're like, holy shit, R is here, right? Like I'm here. Tell and then I was getting happened. changed in the, uh, and then I was getting changed. And then you came and said hi to me. I was like, how do you know who I was? But I guess, yeah, our, our, our message. A tall man who looks new, who's a bit overweight and tall as you described yourself. I'm like, I'm sure I'm going to take a chance here. It's like, is this you, right? <laughs> um, but she told me that she ran into you. So I don't know how, maybe it's because you recognized her. Maybe that's how she knows you. Um, so anyways, I left the sun and to go and find you. Cause I just thought, Hey, if you just arrived, I'll be a greeting person. Right. So I found you and I greeted you and I remember, I think I gave you a little bit of advice in the locker room just saying, you know, you don't have to get naked, just do what you want to do. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. And then you said to come to the room, they're doing the event thing, I, I don't, I can't remember what it was, some little mm. bunch of guys. Hot went up. What's that? Hot wife, yeah, it was hot, hot wife yeah. night, so. So he just said, come in there and kind of welcome me there. I was, I was a bit mm -hmm. nervous being with all those people and, uh. Yeah, you, you're, you're, yeah, it was, it was, I was, I was glad you were there for that. There was another viewer there from my Instagram, I think, and he was part of the circle of our, our chat that night. I don't, I don't remember his name, but he, um, so he was also kind of there saying, you know, so I was like, Hey, come to the ballroom. And, you know, I was including you guys in, in the, in the gist yeah, of what was happening. Yeah. And then in the pool, I remember, you know, we were socializing in a circle. So we yeah. would kind of just like interact together. So I'm sure that it was lovely and for you to feel so you weren't alone, right? Because of that, that's the big feeling. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, have. yeah, yeah. Because once once that ice is broken, then I can go do it myself. I'm a sociable guy, I like chit chatting with people, and so I'm okay. But yeah, to to get me in there and, and to have me feel a little welcome there, and yeah, even that night because you left earlier than I did, I I was chit chatting with people sitting in that pool. Uh, yeah, I, you felt yeah. comfortable within an hour? Did, would you say or less or? Yeah, yeah, I would, I would say an hour, maybe an hour and two. after that show. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, yeah, maybe about an hour. Yeah, it was it didn't didn't take long to feel comfortable there. And it's funny because you know that night was good. We had a good experience. But then I ran into you again, and we've we've kept in contact, of course, because you you chat with me on my OnlyFans. So yeah, you were telling me about you. You know, you went to M four. You had all these experiences. Now we're not going to out your experiences on my podcast. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's private, but for now, I mean, you're new. You don't want to burn any bridges, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but basically, you have suddenly had a shitload of new experiences, new energy in your life, new vibrations in your body, and I want you to tell the camera about it. I, 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 I don't even know how to describe all these new things that are happening to me. Things that, that, that are taboo I can talk about, like... Uh, talking about pubic hair to a woman telling her how beautiful it is and asking a woman just asking somebody if i can see her see her vagina you know i can't do that out in the real world it took us some guts at first but it's perfectly accepted there and it it, it just it, it's just a relief uh you know and, and i'm a voyeur and and, and I'm, I'm i'm watching some people and uh, some of them i'm thanking afterwards i'm saying you know that was pretty hot thank you and they like that they like to hear that it's just a total weird, it, it, different experience, and, and and different things are happening to me every different night I go uh, yeah. to this to this event. And yeah, my my primary thing is just to be a voyeur, but I'm getting to play with some people. I'm not playing as much as I should. I'm getting waved in by people, but I'm the one who's kind of saying, "No, no, I just want to watch. I just want to stand back and 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 watch." Um, might be foolish of me, but uh, you know, I, I I'm not the the kind of guy who just wants to uh, jump on everybody uh, anyway. Um, but I enjoyed the conversation. There was one night I was uh, I was just out in, in the pool and uh, talking to some people, just some naked people. It was a Wednesday <laughs> night, and and we just had the best conversation. We went from religion to life and different. Um, ideologies of, of existence in the world. It was a great conversation. Then we started talking about, you know, why we're, we're, we're all in there and everybody's kind of the same. Everybody really wants to, wants to feel that freedom of, uh, of being naked and having that sex, uh, because everybody likes sex. Everybody wants sex. 
and so it's just the best conversation I've ever had I, I go on in that pool so yeah so I'm getting to play a little bit with with some people and even if I'm, I'm not I'm okay with it because I'm just so into this, the voyeurism of, of this um, but it's affecting my life outside as well I, I'm, I'm getting a little more confidence and um, I'm telling women uh, how beautiful they are and, and there's, there's a waitress at a restaurant and I gotta find out like you know, I, I just, I said, I've never noticed you before. How long have you been working? She goes, I've been seven years. And, uh, and I said, I've never noticed you. And you've got the most beautiful blue eyes I've ever seen. And, and, and so, anyways, I went there again today and I found out she works Sunday. So I'm going to try going again tomorrow. But uh, i gotta, I got to explore this um, this Good thing. But you. I've got the confidence to say something like that. And and I think she liked it. I, I, I Actually, I'm positive she liked it. I don't know really? if she likes me. I'm not sure what that's going to, what, what happens there. But just that that thing of and there's something else happened to me where where somebody uh i complimented him or was joking around and complimenting him and then she was just kind of seductively rubbing my arm <laughs> <laughs> when's the last time that happened to you <laughs> it hasn't happened to me i said i think she wants me i think i think i could put her up against the wall right now if i want to oh, um so stuff like that's happening to me it's like this this i don't know i don't know how to describe it my my, my world is changing so tell, tell us if you can go back to that day and the decision to walk in when you got to the door at Oasis, what was it that you said to yourself that helped? What was it that could help someone go through it? Like, Oh, I don't know. I was a bit nervous. A bit nervous. I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, you know, my heart was racing a bit. I'm worried about, you know, kind of being rejected, being a single guy. Uh, you know, and, and nothing like that happened. It was just, it just, I was just welcomed in and told the rules, and then they gave me a tour, and uh, and that was it. But yeah, I had to drive by it a few times before I actually parked and went in. Yeah, um, I did. yeah. And you felt welcomed by the Oasis establishment, right? Not just I, yeah, the, the establishment. Yeah, felt felt right away. They, you, they laid down the ground rules, and then that was it. it was just there you are you know i was just kind of worried you're going to some guy uh so single guy i just just had that fear in my head that they don't want single single guys creepy single guys in there um, and, and there's other clubs who you might get that feeling from right i'm not yeah. saying that they're the ones that i've been to but there's clubs that are you know i'm not going to lie there is some stigma in the lifestyle about being a single man because there's some really aggressive pushy oh, people and i've seen it i've seen it too yeah. i've seen how aggressive they they are and just they, they don't even ask. They just jump in there. They're just throwing their pecker in somebody's face. Oh, uh, yeah. Really yeah. DTF. But, yeah. Well, that's that's Bukkake night, too. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> no, I, I, even on other nights, I've, I've seen it. I mean, well, I, not at, maybe not at Oasis, but over at M4. I've seen, you know, on... A, well, okay, it is a gangbang on Sundays where I've, I'm saying that. So maybe, maybe it is more acceptable. But it, it, I, I can just... See, these guys are pretty aggressive. <laughs> there, but consent or, or like policies are enforced at all of the clubs, right? So no means no, and if yeah, someone doesn't yeah. know, they're kicked, like they're it's addressed if it's an issue. Um, but yeah, so you started as somebody, and I'm gonna just act out on camera because this is just how I feel it. But when I could, when I read energy as an empath, when I met you, I don't know you very well, but I could read a sense of energy around you, right? And you were excited, but you were like almost as if I could feel you going like this to yourself. And so now, the next time I saw you, or the last time I saw you, your energy was so different. Yeah, yeah, you were yeah. just so present. You yeah. weren't apologetic about the space you were taking up in the fucking place, and it was exciting. You were, you were, you felt, you looked so at ease in your own body. And I want oh. you to, to talk about that. Yeah, I guess, I guess, you know, I'm a little bit reserved. I didn't know what 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 to expect, and. You know, I'm, I'm, I just kind of want to just keep to myself and, and be a fly on the wall and watch what's going on the, the first time I was there. And uh, you don't know what to say. You don't, you don't know what, what you can say to people. So, yeah, so I was a little bit reserved and just, just, just standoffish a little bit. But, yeah, by the second time I went, uh, yeah, all that, all those, all my inhibitions just, just went out the door. I, 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 I I'm understanding everything now, and uh, yeah, I'm having I'm having some fun. I I don't know how to describe it. I'm just having some fun. Everything's accepted. But you know, I, I okay. So uh, you took me up to the third floor, and there was some people having sex up there, mm -hmm. and I want to watch it, but at the same time, I feel creepy watching it because that's that's 
it's it's not okay to watch somebody. You know, you got to look away. That was the first time, and you know, now I'll sit, I'll stand there and watch it and enjoy it and appreciate it, and you know, get I also get that sense of nervousness about feeling creepy too. I'm a voyeur also, and I still feel coy about watching. I feel like I have to look away or don't get yeah, caught looking, yeah, yeah, even yeah. though I'm allowed to. So it's something I don't even know if it goes away. But I still know that I'm allowed to, though. And so it's, like, different. Um, but I, for me, voyeurism is, is always going to be a huge part of why I do this lifestyle. It's just, yeah. I love that part of it. So the sex, you see, I don't have a lot of sex on my channel. So for me, when I do have sex, it's great, sure. But that's not that's not the determining factor of whether I have a good night. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. No, I, I, I totally get that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, but I've had every night I've had has been a good night, and and whether it's just something that I take home to my fantasies and uh, just pleasure myself uh, personally at home for days, uh, mm -hmm. it, that's that's good enough for me, right? That's 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 a memory that's going to last for a lifetime. Uh, all, all of those little experiences were, uh, yeah, it was hot, you know. It's funny because when I saw you in the locker room the last time, you you were very, um, really, I, I would just say like you you opened up to me and you you said some really lovely things about how you were a different man, a new man, and how you were healed something, and that you even said that you loved me in a way of like thank you for what you've done to help me, and I want you to tap into that energy and I want you to explain that if you can because I want you to be something that helps other people. Like your reflection can help others as well. Yeah. I, well, I don't know how to describe that. Uh, you know, I just, I, it's just, uh, the things are, things are happening to me. The, the other thing I don't have is a lot of people to talk to about all these things. Mm -hmm. So there, there are some, some strange things that have happened to me too, where I've, I've sent you a, sent you a message. Um, and there's nobody to talk to about that in my outside in this real world. Now I'm starting to develop some friends. I'm starting to make some friends. I have got some phone numbers. I've got a couple who I'm texting now, and who are who are now helping me and guiding me. Uh, but you know, I I I didn't have that right. And how do I talk to uh, to uh, you know one of my friends and and, um, and say some of the things you know I I. I I was yeah, I was in a sex club and uh, worshiping somebody's pubic hair and and uh, and I, I was finger panging her. <laughs> and I will have to like shamelessly plug my my fan page here, but like I also interact with my fans like this. I don't charge extra to have yeah. friendly banter and back and forth. Like I'm rooting for the you for you, right? I want to hear your crazy stories. So it's nice that you can check in with me and let me know. Hey, I went to this club and like I went to this and this is what happened. You know? Yeah, and, and, and I need that. So so your guidance is really really helping me with with. Uh, with this world uh, and there's there's and i've met all kinds of different people in, in this world too and i don't know how to handle some of them i i'm not used to uh women trying to pick me up uh you know and and i've got some guys even trying to pick me up and, and it, it, it's a different world for me uh with, with with this and and so it's just i just don't have anyone to talk to so yeah. You you've been there, so that's where my love comes from. Like that's why I want to I want to support you and and you know and I and I wish people on your YouTube your podcast that are sitting there and they're 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 listening to your stories and they're getting the courage up. I hope they support you because you need it. I mean you you're worth you're worth in gold. Uh, your, your advice and your stories and, and and just just what you've you've brought into my life the past two weeks. Who knows if that will last forever? But it, for now, it's it's given me a big boost, a big step. Uh, in, in, yeah. And I think for you, I remember. I'm not going to hopefully over over reveal something, but that night, the first night, February first, you said that something had happened in you that night where you went home and actually like you know entertained your your dick for twice that night instead of and you said you don't know how rare that is and i think that that was the beginning of you getting your sexual energy flow back through your body i think i think so i think so yeah. and, and some things are happening to me like i i'm 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 a little shy in a crowd and uh i don't mind being naked in front of a crowd but doing something sexual in front of a bunch of other people i'm very shy yeah. Uh, and I didn't think I could even get an erection in front of people, but that's happening now. And, um, you know, something happened to me the, the on Tuesday night where I got a blowjob in the pool and I was I was erect. And uh, last night I was at M4 and there was this girl and she was 
she was ripping my uh, chest hairs out, uh, <laughs> pulling them, and she yanking them. She was doing it so good, and it hurt so good. I, I it was it was painful, but it was it hurt so good. I, my God, I love her. She kept doing it, and, and she knows how to do it. She just knows when to rip it and and, and pull, pull me right into her boobs. And uh, oh my God, I I enjoyed it. I didn't think in that kind of pain. I'd like it. Maybe I'm maybe I might end up being this this uh this pain kick. I, I I tell you that was a uh, thrilling when she grabbed my chest hairs and just ripped it out. She's trying to rip them out of my skin is what she was trying to do, but it was good. It was hot. So to sum up, in 18 days. This man has gone from never gone to a sex club to gone to sex clubs now many times, having new experiences, expanding boundaries, exploring whether he like in, in 18 days. Think about what this lifestyle does to you over the span of your life, man. There is somebody on a leash I was having a conversation with yesterday. I'm just sitting there talking to somebody while they're getting walked on a leash. <laughs> and it was perfectly normal. Just them walking on a leash. Nothing wrong with it. Then the girl's saying, well, "Do you want do you want him to suck or do you want them to suck your cock?" I said, "No, thank you." But mm -hmm. you know, and then we just ch ch chat. <laughs> this in a perfect ever in a walking of somebody with a leash. Yeah, this is wild. This world is wild. You know what's really funny about that is that I remember my first time seeing a collar and leash at Oasis and being like, "Why would anyone do?" that? Like, I was just as confused as a Vanilla World, you know, resident looking at this world, too. And now I, I picked out my collar and leash for my, my, my dominant and submission sex tomorrow. It's in my bedroom. And I'm like, I came from there to here. And, and it, it shows that we really should stop being judgmental because about even other people, but also ourselves. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. we really start to unpack that. We really like things that we might not be able to explain. Oh, yeah. we know we like them. You know? I'm saying. Yeah. Some, some people, like, for example, I'm not going to out someone, but there's people who just don't like certain things. Like someone who does, like, for example, does not like anal play. She's just like, I tried it. I don't want anyone in my plumbing is how she put it. And... Yeah. She doesn't want it, and she's like, look, I tried it. I don't understand why everyone likes it so much. I don't want to do it. But she still struggles with not doing it, right? But what I what I like, not anymore, right? But now, to, as of, like, this week, she's she's like, no, no more. But I, what I like about this lifestyle is you learn what you like and what you don't, but you, mm -hmm. you are also empowered to, to trim the fat of your life, not just in the sex club world, in your broader world. What do you like? What don't you like? And maybe start putting more positive energy in your life than negatives. Now that you are 18 days in and you're already feeling the benefits of more confidence, more self-assurance, not just at the sex club, but also at the restaurant where you're like, hey, that is a waitress yeah. that has worked here for seven yeah. years and I didn't notice her. Something has come alive in you again. Would you agree with that? I, I totally agree with that. Something has come alive. Uh, there, there, there's, there's something changing within me and I, I'm kind of feeling like I belonged into this world all along, and I just, mm -hmm. I just finally found it. And that's a lovely feeling of belonging and homeness. Yeah. Like I feel like it's a home almost in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. great. That's great, and it's not for everyone. Some people would come into this lifestyle and be so over their head about it. So that's it's only for the open-minded. Yeah. Um, because you have to be accepting of the people around you. Like, for example, if you saw a collar and leash, you can't be like, ew, gross, or, or that's weird. Yeah, exactly. Not yeah, allowed you to can't. see people, right? So, yeah. Yeah, so that's what's interesting, is that you become more tolerant out of, out of it's, it's the cultural yeah. language is, is acceptance. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Transgender yeah. people, might they're masturbating, uh, you know, uh, Something like yeah. that may, may five years ago may have freaked me out, but it is what it is. All the power to them. I'm, I'm having my own fun doing my thing. That's their thing. Yeah. Yeah. And have you noticed that you, and I guess I'm going a little deep here, but have you noticed that you accept yourself more now? Uh, yeah, yeah. I totally accept myself a little bit more now. To talk about my pubic hair fetish with people is... Uh, you know, I, I, being being open and talking to people about it is it's a good conversation uh, conversation piece. You know, uh, you, you can talk about. I have a panty fetish, and uh, you know, talk to people about 
no panties. Like this this girl who's ripping out my chest hair yesterday, she was going to give me her panties, but then she took them back because they're eighty dollars panties or something like that. Oh. But I said, I said well, I said, yeah, are you serious? Because I'm I got a fetish. <laughs> I'll, I'll adore these things. And, oh, I've uh, sold They're they're valuable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And yeah. uh, so I was going to try to meet her tonight, but the the person, my date, because uh, it's a couple's only night over at M4, and uh, mm -hmm. and, and uh, my date canceled on me, so now I'm not going to get to see her. Gotcha. i got to find that's some more female friends I can just walk into uh, to some of these clubs with. And that's the thing, like Saturday nights or whatever, they're, all, they're like that basically everywhere. So can you tell me anything else in your personal life that has changed that maybe is you can't even make the, you can't even necessarily understand why it's different? But is there anything that surprised you that's a little different? I find myself in Costco today, and I, I would much rather be with naked people. And uh, <laughs> I, I just it just sucks to be with clothes on. And uh, you know, I, I don't know. I just I'm just looking at, at crowds differently. Uh, you know, I I don't know. I just I just want to be naked, na naked, and and watching people have sex. I just yeah. where I want to be. You know, I, so I, I don't know. It's just still too new for me to, to say what's yeah. changed in my personal life. Other than that, uh, I, I, you know, I kind of wish I had more people to talk to about what, what mm -hmm. I'm going through. Um, but I, but as I said, I, I'm, I'm getting new friends. I'm starting to develop friends. I'm texting some people. There's a, a couple who's just sent me a message on WhatsApp. I was just, just reading two seconds ago because they want me to come to this to uh, M4 to meet them tonight. So, so I guess that's what's changing. I think my friends might be changing. They they haven't totally switched over yet. I'm only, you know, two and a half weeks into this, but you know, I'm. I have a feeling that I'm going to have new friends and uh, things it's are changing. Happen. It's it's the holy grail of the. You got the biggest reward of that risk chance you took. You know, yeah. you took a chance of your, yeah. on yourself. You showed up. You felt I, uncomfortable. You did it anyways. I did it. Yeah, I did it. I'm so glad I did it. And it, and it was easy. And it, and just, you know, somebody uh, in your crowd, there was, a, I can't remember his name, but he was saying to me, have no expectations. And you know what? I didn't have any expectations because I was like, well, I did. I have some expectations. I want to see some, some people have sex. And uh, that's easy. That's an easy expectation to find at a club like Oasis or, or uh, M4 that I'm going to. Because uh, yeah. people are having sex, and it's pretty hot. Before um, hearing about Oasis, single guys are not allowed on the third floor. Well, that sucks. Why would I want to go there if I can't even see where the fun is? Well, the fun is happening at the pool too. The fun is happening on the dance floor. The fun is happening in the the showers, the sauna, the the uh, the dungeon as well. I, I don't necessarily need to go up there, uh, uh, but it's easy for me to find uh, a woman uh, in the the pool too and say. Hey, can you take me up there? Or sometimes I'll see a couple; they're getting a little rancy, and um, and uh, and I'll say, "Can you guys take? Can I watch? Can I can can I uh, can I watch you guys?" And then they'll take me up. <laughs> yeah, nice. So I think it, you know, thriving is the word I would use for you. You look like you're thriving. I'm after thriving. I am definitely thriving in this 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 world right now. That's fantastic, yeah. and I think that's why I wanted to tell your story and have you tell your story is that it doesn't necessarily always land the same way. Sometimes you could go maybe on the wrong night and be turned off by the experience and not give it a chance again. Some, it can happen to people, but you had watched my videos. You knew it, you know, what to expect kind of, you know, from the club. So you came in on the right night and had a good experience. And I, I did. I that. did. Yeah. As I'm, I'm moving on into this, this thing, I'm going into seeing other experiences and other, other nights. And there was it, there was some. I, I actually I didn't really have that great of a time on uh, Valentine's Day, the Bukaki uh, night. I've had better times with smaller crowds. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it was fun though. I mean, it was it wasn't all bad, but I, I, I've I've had better nights on uh, with smaller crowds and, and a different vibe of people uh, as well. So, it, and that's a Tuesday, right? I told you Tuesdays are intense, which is why I suggest my. On my channel, that new new visitors to the club Oasis Aqua Lounge, just don't go, don't pick a Tuesday. Pick a, you yeah, know, Sunday, yeah. Thursday, Wednesday, you know, Monday. Yeah, in that order. it's fun though. It's fun, but yeah, yeah, you might, yeah. I, I, as a, a woman especially, might get uh, turned off with all the guys trying to get her. You know, uh, a yeah, woman going solo anyway. If if you're DTF, if you're down to fuck and you're looking for a good fucking solid line of offers options, that's a great place to go. I have personally not gone to DTF at times when I felt 
I was like either just not in a good mood about sex or like maybe I couldn't have sex or something and I just did not want to feel like I was constantly being hit on all night. So that's why like, I almost wanted to avoid the attention, which I, in a way I should because otherwise I'm there to take some time, you know, in my opinion, and these people pay a lot of money and I'm just like a, a sitting, like a, almost like a, a, what are those ducks, those, those decoy ducks. I don't want to be a decoy duck at a sex club. I want to be, you know, and that's, that's interesting I bring that up because it doesn't mean I don't have value if I don't have sex, right? Yeah. So just because I go, when I go on DTF nights now, even when I don't have sex, I then help other people have sex. I help match make. I watch. It's just still very fulfilling. I saw you do that. I saw you do that. I saw you you yeah. you, uh, you grab somebody and uh, bring it over to um, your friend there. Yeah. Yep. And then you got invited actually into the red room yeah, to sit yeah, and watch. Yeah. Well, that's because the guys kept yelling at me about having my toes on the red tape. <laughs> it's true, but still, it's a coveted invite to be even be asked to yeah. sit in there, and right? yeah, I wouldn't have invited yeah. anyone else to sit there. And it wasn't even me. I had to get. I, you know, we did it the right way too, because even though I knew you wanted to sit there, I wasn't going to interrupt their sex to ask them that because yeah, yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. not not good etiquette. So I waited until it was a good appropriate time, and so that's also good etiquette I can pass on to the to the yeah. viewers yeah, um, yeah. about don't, don't don't like be like knock 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 like can I no that's not the right way to do yeah, it. So yeah, yeah. yeah, so you know I want to thank you very much for for coming and being vulnerable enough to share your experience because you know even though I'm blurring your face and people are gonna hear, you know, pretty much anonymous. You're a real person who has the same insecurities and vulnerabilities and uh, challenges probably that others do. And you recently awakened something in your life that is gonna be hard to put back into the there's can. No way to, yeah, there's track. no way to, to, to cork this. No, no so way. that's why it's beautiful to watch. It's uh, yeah, and, to and it may affect me with relationships with women outside and the outside world too, where I, I, think, I, I think I know what I want. You know, and uh, it might it might be tough to find a non-swinger woman right now. Well, we'll, we'll see what happens, yeah. but uh, yeah. I'm not going to fish outside these waters anymore. I don't need no vanilla fish. Yeah, 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 yeah. I talk too many vanilla men that put their nose up when I ask yeah. them to I got to figure out how to vacation and go on vacation too in uh, in this world. And uh, there's there's a yeah. cruise. Somebody told me about a cruise, but they don't allow single solo guys. And I'm like, oh my God, I would love to do that. No, That's just it. Single guys do have a lot of barriers to certain things in the lifestyle. So I would say even single women, like I'd be nervous to go to like some of these events because they're kind of like two people in a room too. Like as a single, I'm like, uh, so anyways, it, it's one of those things, but, uh, find one that has singles. There is ones that have singles. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I would look into that, but uh, I also do have, I'm going to be putting pages on my website, uh, which is torontounicorn.com that I have some recommendations, temptations, desires, places like that. And uh, if you click on my links, I do get credit for them. So if you want to go to torontounicorn.com, you can check that out. Awesome. Any last words before we sign off for the day? I, I don't know. Uh, just, uh, to be continued, you know, this is probably not going to be the first time I talk to you because there's probably going to be more stories to tell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it, it's an amazing world. You know, I, I've got to learn. There's lots of things I've got to learn. I've got to be able to, uh, personally myself, I've got to be able to be, be comfortable having an orgasm in front of people, and I'm going to have to work on that uh, in, in in that place. But I, and I'm in the perfect environment for that to happen. You know where I can where I can work on that because right now if I want an orgasm I've got to be kissing a girl in in private or kissing or going down on her to to orgasm I can't stand up or anything so I mean there, there's going to be plenty of opportunities for me to be able to do this and uh, you know so I, awesome. I, I I I've got an area I've got a space where I can work on uh, work on some of these things and uh, yeah stay tuned is all I can say to be continued. One last topic is that you've also joined the online Oasis virtual platform, which again, to my listeners, I am not paid or asked to, to, to promote Oasis by any means. I always just mention it because it is the place that changed our lives kind of thing. Um, but you have joined the online Oasis platform. I've seen you on camera at multiple events. Now you only did this after you attended in person, right? Yeah, well, I, I joined it because I want to know more and 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 chat with people online and and watch some of the events that because I obviously I, I I can't afford to go to Oasis every night, so I, I you know I want to watch some of the events and see how they they go and uh, you know uh, more voyeur voyeurism for me, right? 
Um, yeah. and, and that's been fun as well, that uh, online chat. There was – first Friday night I was there, I was, I was kind of standoffish with, with what was going on. And I still don't totally understand – some cameras I can view, some cameras I, cameras I can't, and, mm -hmm. and they're talking to other people and I can't hear what's going on. But it, it's kind of a fun world too, and there was this, this one girl and uh, – Who's her little red panties were turning me on, and and so um, the newlywed couple uh, they were they were uh, trying to, to to goat me into uh, to masturbating with everybody else, and I, and I wouldn't. But then I started talking about this girl and her panties and um, how they're turning me on. And then, anyways, yeah. So I, I started I started having some uh, some fun online with um, with the rest of them. I just joined in, and then that girl. She's, she, there's a couple actually. There's a couple, but she's but the, the girl in particular sent me a message thanking me, and and we we're 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 having some banter back and forth, me and her uh, messaging each other, and um, and yeah, yeah. So uh, so you yeah. also felt a sense of belonging and community on the virtual platform, which is something you could do more times of the week, right? Like yeah, 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 yeah. See what's going on and check in, check in every night and see if there's any uh, anything yeah. going on, uh, you know, in in. And now I'm 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 a little easier to to do things online and talk online, and that's why I went on that Valentine's Day when they had people to go up there. Well, now I know who's online mm -hmm. uh, watching because I've been watching them watching it with them. That I can go up on uh, on the stage and lick uh, whipped cream and uh, caramel off somebody's body, right? Sure. I, I, but I was worried about who's watching that camera prior to that. Now now I'm okay because I know who's who's watching. I've, I've watched them. I've watched with them. And I think what, what the, the point of me bringing this back to is you joined a lifestyle. You didn't just have, you didn't just go to a sex club. And I think that's, what's interesting is you went to a sex club and it was the door to a lifestyle. Yeah. And now yeah, you yeah. joined the virtual experience. Yeah. Now, yeah. Another club of the same type I, of uh, nature. And there's other websites people are telling me about too, that I'm probably going to be joining this yeah. fet life and stuff like that. And uh, but yeah, so I've been hearing about other things. So, yeah, as I'm as I'm growing and as I'm talking to people, I'm, I'm hearing about other online worlds uh, to 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 join. So we'll, we'll see what what what, what let, transpires. Let me put this disclaimer on FetLife: If you oh. are still a little nervous or shocked by a leash in the collar, it's not time for FetLife. <laughs> I can't wait to join it then. It okay, has I'm... actually upset me before the 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 the, the website. But there's a lot that maybe I wouldn't subscribe to. And it's, yes, you can block people, but you still can't shield your eyes from things that aren't, your, aren't kink aligned. And so for me, I found it to be, at, when I was new to the lifestyle, way too much for, for a beginner. So I would be very careful about that. I mean, you could always follow me on FetLife. I don't post anything extreme. I don't even post nudity on there anymore because I have a fan page. But be careful. Yeah, I'm just going to be exploring the world, right? And... Uh... And, and yeah. you know that, that that's all I'm just I'm just more curious about what else lies uh, within right and there's also I have to mention my discord server which is I'm uh, launching it you know it's already up and running I'm just I'm still getting on uh, my my what is it my sea legs on that uh, basically it is a place for viewers my audience I don't know what to call you guys yet um, but basically everybody who consumes trying unicorn content you can actually join my Discord server, which is a place for you all to intermingle with one another. You, there's actually video chat rooms. There's audio chat rooms. You can go and put yourself on camera and hang out with me on camera. I get to see your pets. You get to see my pets. And I actually get to interact with my viewers in a much more intimate way. So if you want to come to my Discord server now, it's not just me. There's other people who are part of this Discord server that may want to also talk to you, may want to share yeah. interesting fetish conversation, things like that. And so I want you guys to check it out. It's a place of belonging. It's a place of people who support my content and support my non-judgmental accepting lifestyle to come in and uh, find a place there too. So I hope that, you know, there's all the, all sorts of new apps that people have to keep assimilating to. And I know Discord for me is one of those hard ones to kind of fully get there, but the, the, the potential is fantastic. And I really hope that people join and yeah. come with the journey. I, I don't totally understand Discord, but I'll join. And I think what we're called is your... Uh, loyal sub or royal subjects i think that's what uh you are the, you are our queen and we are your your royal your your subjects 
I do get to figure out this name, but I can't have anything that people would find offensive or like degrading. So I'm trying to find that perfect balance because even the word fan, I think for me was starting to feel a little glossy of a label. Like I want to have something more meaningful because you're more than fans. You're people who connect and engage with what I'm saying, right? And so I'm trying to find what that is, but... We'll find out what a baby unicorn is, is whatever that is. Unicorn lit. Yeah, I don't know. You'll you'll see me struggle with this over the next few weeks, but I'll 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 have it come to me. By the way, I had to completely rebuild my swinger shop website in 24 hours the other day. Oh really? I had yeah. So I had a a different platform that hosted some products that I designed with some swinger funny shit on it, like really hilarious, you know, sex positive stuff. Um, and so it was a bit clunky. The user experience wasn't the best. It was an American based uh, website, even though I'm personally Canadian because most of my audience is American. Having said that, most of my interested merch audience is Canadian and they were a little troubled by the American experience. So I rebuilt it overnight in one day because my lease on the, on the site was going to expire yeah, and yeah. I'm so excited, but now it's up and running. So I hope you guys check out thespinnershop.com. It is fully redone. It has reviews now. It is a much more uh, familiar shopping experience. I've got offensive shit under a category called offensive. I've even started categorizing things under proud slut, hot wife, uh, upside down pineapple, you know, things like that so that people can just quickly go to their genre and see what's available. So hope you guys check that out. But yeah, that's what I've been doing this week. Um, this, this, this job I do, this trying unicorn thing, I could have the most perfect idea of what my day is going to look like. And then something happens and I'm like, I have to like do this. So it's just always been like that, but I don't, I'm not complaining. I just got a lot, a lot going on too. So well, this is your calling. I hope this is, uh, yeah, you, yes. you're good at this. So I feel it I is my this, calling. So these funny. little things that I hope will work out for you for the, uh, yeah. you know, your Toronto Unicorn shop and stuff. Me too. I mean, I'm, I'm taking a bit of a chance on all this stuff, but in a way, I just feel like it's a hobby. And that, that's why I love what I do so much that I would do it in a way for free. Like what I do is just, I can't keep, that's the one thing that bothers me is that I can't chat on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and everywhere that people reach out to me because I just can't be spread that thin in life. And so that's why I have to funnel everybody to my fan page because it really is where I can focus, right, on the people who have, who have invested in me back because I I actually got burnt out a few times doing this job because I tried so hard to just, you know, try to touch everybody who wanted I to. I can touch. imagine, I can imagine, yeah. Yeah, so I think that's why I like to promote my fan page is that there is a way you know, yeah, it costs a little bit of money every month, but you can always try it for a month and see if it, if you like it. If you don't, you can break up with me. I won't get upset. <laughs> it's all right. You'll forget it. But yeah, so because you've been a subscriber to my fan page for several months, can you give the viewers and listeners your review of my fan page right now? It's hard because I don't have a whole lot of... Um... Uh, of, mm. of things to to go on because yours is was the only one until like last week until I tried uh, somebody else but I'm I'm going to unsubscribe to that one just as fast wow. as I subscribed <laughs> but uh, but but yours is more about the content and the uh, the, the, the the lifestyle the, the just the the camaraderie of, of 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 swingers that you that you meet and. Uh, I don't know. I, 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 to me, it's about that. And you, you, of course, you pose nude, and uh, for me, it's it's not totally about that. I've got, uh, you know, I, 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 and I'm not, I'm not totally into to to watching uh, sex on OnlyFans either. But I'm more into just listening to you and your stories and your nighttime stories. And sometimes you're just doing a little nighttime story and your little panties, and you're taking them off, and it's kind of fun to watch. And it's kind of fun to watch you, and uh, yeah, but but for me, I I'm just it's just a wealth of of knowledge, and this is why I'm on there is to to support your to support you and to support what you're what you're doing, and uh, yeah. you're 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 giving a lot of people a gift, and I and I know that there's there's a lot of people out there who are like me who probably want to go, don't think that they can go. Um, 
I, I say subscribe to your uh, your fan page and talk to you about it and, and get the courage to to uh, to go. I mean, it's you, you did it for me, and 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 now it's it's amazing. And some people might not even believe half this crap that I'm saying, but I don't know. And I, I won't mean, be able to like personally meet everyone that goes, but. The, the, the truth is the same. You still were welcomed into an inviting, accepting crowd, whether I was there or not. Yeah, whether you were not. You broke the ice for me, but after that, I, I'm fine. I can, I, I'm, 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 yeah. I'm riding solo now. I'm, 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 I'm okay. I, I know how to converse with everybody now. It's the culture of the place. I wasn't, like, that's the thing is I'm really honest about it, is I'm not the only non judgmental person, right? It's the whole kind of Yeah, it is. Crowd for, for sure, for sure. And, and I and I've talked my weight about my weight to, to, to some people too, where mm -hmm. I've said you know I'm a little self conscious about that, and and there's other people and they're just saying don't worry about it. Look at look at this, and and you know uh, for instance uh, somebody was telling me to go to this young swinger night at Club M4. I go no they don't want me, and, she, and then this this girl she'd be able to go you'd be surprised at uh, at, at this what what these girls want. So just keep going, and then you know, she made me feel good. So yeah, there are people who anytime I'm I'm knocking myself down. We're building me up, and actually, this couple that I I, I told you about, who I'm uh, texting now, mm -hmm. uh, they that, they said that to me today because I was ex saying exactly that. I never felt like I belonged there, and now I do. And they're saying, mm -hmm. "Oh, but you're a fun guy. You 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 have fun. You make and and and, and everyone likes that. You you they say you you I'll do fine, and and uh, and and I am doing fine, and um, and, and so they, you know they're 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 building me up, and then I then they said, "Don't knock yourself. You're you're a fun guy. You know." And, uh, and, and I, I and I gotta stop knocking myself too, because yeah, I, I'm a bit overweight. I'm working on it. I'm I'm I'm, I'm actually on a diet right now, and I've lost 23 pounds. So uh, so things are happening there too. Yeah, and I think it gets easier too the more you become alive in your body again, because you're more in touch with the skin you're trying to change. Uh -huh. And there's uh -huh. something about that that worked for me, and especially when I started dressing my body as good as I could now, and not five pounds from now. And that was when the rest of my life changed, was when I stopped giving tomorrow so much power and I gave it mm -hmm. back to today. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, be live in the moment, really, is it is. When, when I'm there, live in the moment. Right now, I'm not at a sex club. I'm not going to be going to a sex club tonight. And, and, and Oh, well, what can I do? This is I'll just live this moment until I get back naked with, with people having sex around me. And I just want to build on that thing. So if you do join my fan page, I do chat with fans. If you are interested in going to the club, whatever club, even if you're in another country, and you just want somebody who gives a shit about it, who who wants to hear from you before you go, to give you advice, to wants to hear about it after, to give you post advice, I don't charge extra again. It is literally a it is a way for me to invest back into the fans who have invested in me. You've got to know how big my heart is. I'm as real as they come, and I want to help yeah. as many people get across this this barrier to this lifestyle who want to join because this lifestyle is waiting for you and it's up to you whether you are going to wait or finally just join it and, uh, and start living the rest of your life so thank you very much arnold lane it was so great to have you thank you toronto unicorn you can find my podcast on any of the apps you see on your screen